This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Ian Mayer leader with a 17 for three, three. Hey guys, I'm Maddie Stoltman. Welcome to Barrel Racer Life. We are back in the Pacific Northwest. Made it home from Arizona from the winter months and just getting settled back at home. It always takes a little bit to get things put back together after being gone for five months. Got to go barrel race at the Barrel Days Barrel Race in Moses Lake, Washington, which is nice and close to us. And I'll show you guys all about this past week. Load it up and go and barrel racing. We are headed to Moses Lake. It's only about an hour's drive. This race is so big that they've been running since 8 a.m. It is 5 p.m. and I'm just pulling out of the driveway. <laughs> so I will probably run at eight-ish tonight. Yeah, it's a big race. I ran Claude first, then Hot Sauce. I am actually looking forward to running Claude in this arena because I actually haven't ran him in here for a couple years, two for sure. And uh, it's not really his most ideal setup. He's kind of a better outside horse, but it's the only thing we're gonna have up here for a while. And there's lots of side pot money and everything. So I really wanted to go anyway. Hot Sauce has had three weeks off of competition, which I think was a good thing for him. I'm hoping that was a good little reset for him. I did ride him. I did more trail riding and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to running him too. Tim Cooper makes my cowboy hats and he just touched this one up for me, got it reshaped and cleaned and it looks amazing. I'm six feet tall and I can't actually see over Claude's back very well, so that just gives you an idea of how big he actually is. Venture into the realm of future fortunes at Triple Crown. VF Born for Glory. Now clear to run. Here's Maddie aboard. 229. 230. Haley, be ready. You're on deck. And Maddie turns into 16135. That's 16 and one. Claude and I had a good run. It wasn't amazing. <laughs> I feel like I was a step behind him and he's one of those horses. He's so big and so powerful and he's very turny. So you really have to keep driving him all the way up into the turns, especially indoors. Just feel like I was a step behind the whole run. He took care of me. He's really honest and just a good horse. So I have no complaints. We ended up making 3D money. So a second off the pace, not really where I expect him to be. Um, but like I said, I was sort of a step behind. I haven't gone to the gym for like two weeks, not to give you guys excuses, but for me, I find that having my core strength up and the rest of my body in good shape is really essential to me being a good jockey. And just with moving back to the Northwest and stuff and all of that, it just didn't happen these last couple of weeks. And it definitely showed in my riding. So not that I needed to relearn that, but maybe I did. <laughs> so going back to the gym this week, that's for sure. Uh, but happy with Claude and how well he took care of me. 260. Maddie Stoltman will ride guys bad and classy. Talking about Western, one of those Western fortune horses here. Draw 260. 261 at 265, making your way inside at the drag. Madison Warden down to Trevor Raines. Tractors, let's drag. How about a 17, 141, 17, and 141? When we return, it's 261 to 265 coming up. I feel like Hot Sauce just didn't really want to play that day. <laughs> he made a good run. It just, to me, he felt like his heads were, head was in the clouds. He wasn't really paying attention, just kind of going through the motions and not really uh, showing up and putting on his game face. But, you know, it's one of those things. They're live beings too, and sometimes they have an off day. So I just kind of chalked it up to that and thought, okay, let's just do better tomorrow. All right, headed back to Moses Lake, round two. 
both the boys did good yesterday and made money, both of them, which is always a bonus. I ran at a normal hour, which is also great because I like to go to bed early. <laughs> was home by a little after 10 p.m. last night. And uh, I'll get you on a little earlier this evening, so that's always a perk too. I left the horses loaded when I got there and I warmed up like this because it was just pouring rain. It was terrible. Two, draw position 179, now clear to run is Maddie Stoltman. Guys bad and classy, now clear and ready. That'll be a 16593, 16593. Day two was substantially better for hot sauce. I was really happy with that. I feel like yesterday was a day or an off day for him, and he just really showed up for me on Sunday. So we knocked six tenths off of our time, which in barrel racing is a substantial amount. So I was quite pleased with that and uh, just really happy with him overall. This was also a new personal best for him in this arena. All right, well, Maddie, go to work. I have a different name at 224 on mine. This was the original. This is, in fact, Maddie Stoltman. VF born for glory here inside of this pen. That's going to be a 15, 9, 13, 1, 5, and 9, 13. I feel like I got my act together a little bit. I was ready for the fact that, okay, I'm not feeling quite as strong as normal. So I'm going to have to just be ready for that. And Claude made a beautiful run. There's, of course, things that could have been better. I'm really picky about things, especially with him just knowing the ability that he has. And I just feel like things like my second barrel, it just felt like slow motion. He's so turny. And I just feel like he's honest enough that I can get him around the barrels and make a clean run. I just feel like we kind of lose momentum. He really wants to set up sooner than I'd like him to inside. And it's just what it is. Uh, but he did awesome. I mean, a 15-1 was the fast time <coughs> of the day and he was a 15-9. So it's not like it was awful. Um, I just kind of expect him to be a little closer to the top. However, inside I'm a little more lenient with him just knowing it's not really his strong place. However, I was just really happy with that run. He's so much fun and I just enjoy every run on him. If you've watched my videos for a long time, you might notice that I'm in a different location than normal filming this right now. I am actually in Canada visiting some family. I haven't got to see everyone since before we left for Arizona for the winter, so it's been a while since I've been back. Looking forward to getting to see some family and friends and enjoy a week off. That said, there will not be a Barrel Racer Life episode next week because, of course, no horses. <laughs> so I'm just going to enjoy the week with family and friends, and I will see you guys again in two weeks. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you.